Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Oh yeah, that's right. Just to give a quick refresher, here's our team. We have a Squirtle at level 11. I'm hoping he can hold his own, because we're going to be using him quite a lot this episode. At least, hopefully. We have a Nidorino at level 20. It's looking pretty, pretty strong. We have a Pikachu at level 21. Of course, our adorable starter. We have an Ivysaur at level 22, and of course he can't cut inside of the Poke Center. We have a Kadabra at level 24. Of course he can't teleport in here either. And then we have a Charmeleon at level 23. So our team is moving along pretty strong. Um, we're gonna have some tasks to do today, so. We're just going to jump right into it, you know, we're about a minute into the video, why don't we just get into it. Um, looking at like the chain of events of things we should have done, if you want to, I would say guys if you're watching this and this is your first playthrough, I'm expecting for most of you that won't be the case, but for others if it is, this right here is Diglett's Cave. If you're looking for an easy way to beat Lieutenant Surge, like we did last episode, and you don't have um, a ground type or anything like that, this is a great place to come and get one. So I just kind of wanted to get that disclaimer. Our team is pretty bulky, so I figured we didn't need one, but, you know, that is a benefit. Do, do, do. Okay. We need to go this way. There's going to be a lot of fighting Diglett in this episode. Because there's a lot of Diglets here, and maybe even a Doug Trio every once in a while. I'm hoping that Squirtle can hold his own in here. I don't know which is stronger. I'm going to I'm going to guess Water Gun. Come on. Let's hope it knocks it out. Ah. Oh. Man, this is not going to be an easy day. Because I wanted to get some experience points for for Squirtle. I have a feeling he's going to die right here, though. Damn it. Yeah, why not? We might as well, right? Um, let's see. Is Ivysaur strong against ground type? You know, it's kind of disappointing. I really wanted to get Squirtle some experience points, but... It is what it is. You know, let's go back. I, I hate to do this to you guys, but we're gonna go back and heal real quick. And then we're gonna come in with Squirtle. In the hopes that, uh... Squirtle can just start off, and then Ivysaur can finish him off. It would really be a shame if we didn't get Squirtle some, some EXP on this trip. He's gonna need it. And of course, you know, now that we're moving backwards, we're going to see a million Diglets. Oh, and I can't escape. That's terrific, so I have to kill this one. That is a problem with Diglett. At least I've experienced it a lot. Although, most of our Pokemon should be, you know, pretty good against Diglett. You know, they might not have the best moves, but they should be able to turn out like that. Wow, oh, look at that. We even got a, a level on Nidorino. I think maybe around, like I said, like once we get... We have two more Pokemon to add to the team, I'm pretty sure. Let me check what we got going on. No, we just have one. Oh, okay, and then we'll, we'll be getting rid of another one. So yeah, two more Pokemon to add to the team, I think. But, um, yeah, before we do that, we're definitely going to give Nidorino a Moonstone and make them a Nido King, and we'll at least get into a battle with Nido King, so that way if you guys have never used one, you can see just how much of a tank Nido King is. Nido King strong against, like, everything in this game. Honestly, it's a shame to get rid of him, but... Now we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes, and if that means having a slightly cooler team, I'm all for it. Unfortunately, the, the last Pokemon, one of the Pokemons that we'll be adding here, is notoriously really hard to get in this game, and another one is a little bit easier, so 
We have our work cut out for us a little bit. Oh, come on. Let's get through nice and clean. Okay, uh, we got a good chunk through. And for Squirtle, we're going to be doing what we did with some of the other Pokemon we had, where Squirtle starts out, another Pokemon jumps in. We use Vine Whip. Vine Whip's extremely effective. We should just be able to rip through the cave like this. Yeah, the sad part is, is they're not going to get a ton of experience. And there's not really, like, anything that Squirtle could train on that's going to get him a ton of experience for a while, I don't think. You know, let me see how many potions I have. I forget how many I grabbed last episode. Okay, we have a bunch. So, I'm just going to use potions when he gets, like, halfway. Because, like I said, a Squirtle is... We need to get him rocking and rolling here. There's a fire gym a little bit later in the game, so... You know, if he can't stand up to some Diglets now, what good is he going to be in the future? Yeah. Critical hit, of course. And watch, I'm going to use this and then he's going to die. I swear to God. Yeah, this is gonna be a frustrating place for us, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, at least he's he's going up. Let's give him a good old super potion. I kind of wanna. We we'll have to get some Pokemon to get some cool things, so we might end up catching a Diglett here. I'd prefer a Doug Trio if we see one, but. Just because I personally won't be using Diglett. It's not my favorite Pokemon. Not even close, honestly. There's just something weird about him, you know? He, he just kind of looks like a finger. Ooh, critical hit. That's good. He can lower the attack all he wants. We're gonna knock him out. And he's a good eight levels above us, so that should get us some mighty fine experience points for Squirtle. Do, do, do. Sorry if you can hear the truck outside that's going beep, beep. It's, uh, I don't know, it just started. And I'm only seven minutes in, so there's no chance in hell that I'm starting over. Oh, give him the good old water gun, Squirtle. We might be having, like, a, a Let's Play kind of commentary, too. I know, like, that's mainly what I do for the Let's Play is, like, my commentary over it. But I might be having, like, some... Just some kind of, like... M maybe I'll talk about it in the podcast, or maybe I'll talk about it in its own kind of separate episode. But it's just gonna kind of be going over, you know, kind of what goes into these episodes and things like that. Okay, that's not what I wanted, buddy. No. I'm not a huge fan of Mr. Mime, so we will not be coming back to get Mr. Mime. I forget in these games that you have to go and pick out the Pokemon and use them like this. It's pretty annoying. But I believe there is an item down here that we want. It's a Pokemon Lights Flash you can get through Rock Tunnel. You can get through it without it. Oh, I hope to God we have. Yeah, that's right. We got it. HP up. Okay, that'll be useful. And these right here just take us like back to where we were in the beginning of the game. So we don't want to be using them really in any regard. Let's teach Flash to somebody though. So that way when we get to Rock Tunnel, we're good. Mm, 
think a Pikachu. Yes. Um, Mega Punch hasn't been that great for us, so I'm, I'm gonna go with Mega Punch. I'm gonna try and balance it out so that way, like, no team member has, like, more than one HM learned. So that way they're all, they all kind of have one, but if, if that makes any sense what I'm saying. I don't know if I just sound dumb, because I genuinely am just dumb. But, yeah, if you search up, like, any guide or anything like that, like I did, because I always get confused at this part of the game, they recommend that you, um... You go and you catch something, you catch a Diglett in Diglett's cave. And then you battle Lieutenant Surge. And then after that, they recommend that you go and um, battle all the trainers and reach the Snorlax. But we're just gonna kind of move backwards. We're gonna go this way and then we're gonna go back up and cut the trees by Misty's place. So that we can go that way. I just, I like to do those things first, so that way Lieutenant Surge's battle is a little bit easier. Plus, we played through the game before, we know that we can't go that way anyway, so there's no point in trying. It's like we're gonna have to use some heals. Can we get another attack in? I think we can. I'm gonna regret it, I'm gonna regret it. No, okay, thank god, Squirtle. Squirtle's proven his own right now. Level 14. He's turning into a fine turtle. I can give him that. Let's give him a super potion. We really want to get him up there with the rest of the team. Because he's going to be a contributor for a good chunk of the game. You know, just like uh, Nidorino has been... Like, our biggest... I think, yeah, besides Pikachu, Nidorino has been, like, here from the start. Let's see how Pikachu's doing. Oh, look at that. You get a little jump. He's a stack. Now, we have all the Pokemon that we need. So, sometimes on a playthrough of Yellow, I would go and put Pikachu in the storage and get a Jolteon later. But I don't feel like being an asshole on this playthrough, so I'm not going to do that. Do, 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 do. And you see, this is so much easier. If we went the other way, we'd have to go through that rock tunnel again. And if you saw my rock tunnel episode, you'd understand why we're not going to do that. Because to hell with the rock tunnel. Like, that place sucks. So instead, we're just going to go back up this way. Which goes against what the game tells us to do. Like, the actual walkthrough kind of gameplay. You can stare at Pikachu's butt if you're interested, I guess. But, um, this is gonna be a shitload easier. Although it would have been nice for Squirtle, because Squirtle could have ranked up then, like, big time. Oh, uh, did we stop in the people's houses and get the bike voucher? I really hope we did, but I don't believe we did. We're gonna check. We'll know if we go up to the counter and they still ask us for money. I forget. I'm, I'm sorry. This recording's coming out. It's gonna come out in order, but I played through, like, the first series of playthroughs a while ago. And now I'm just kind of following up as it's catching up. Okay, so we got a bike. Is there a way to assign hotkeys in this game? I don't think so. Voltorb, how you doing? Regardless, we won't really need the bike voucher per se. Or the bike. We'll need it to get to like a few places like he just said. You can take it to these places and that's because those are the places you need a bike to go to but um other than that we're not really going to be using our bike all that much through this playthrough it just becomes more annoying than anything else from what i've experienced 
So now, this was blocked off originally, as you can see here. But now we have a Pokemon who knows Cut, and we can use it. So we're going to be using it. Let's see what we got. You have Pokemon with you? You're mine. I don't think so today, Missy. Let's see what she throws out. Oddish. Okay. So, that's a good indicator to not leave Squirtle in or die. Um, so, I don't know who we want to use for Oddish. I mean, Charmeleon would be the obvious answer. I was hoping to get some other people some experience, but... You know, Charmeleon has always been my tank in... Whether it be Red, whether it be... Honestly, any of the, the original games. Charmeleon in my opinion, is one of the better starters. With uh, Bulbasaur being number two and then Squirtle being towards the end. Sorry, Squirtle. It's good when you have some other team members that could help you, but right now, Squirtle is not going to be cutting it. But that being said, we are still going to be switching him in, so that way he can handle his own. A little bit later in the game, because he will be sticking with us for a little while. Although, for us, I do have a personal favorite when it comes to water or similar types. So, we'll be using someone else in the future. Oh, go to hell, buddy. Gotta battle our way out of it. I don't know what I'll call this episode, honestly, because it's... I think this will take us to the other tunnel, and I, on, I do not plan on going through that tunnel today. So... You know, we'll, we'll see how far we go, but... Oh my god. I, I really hope Rap is a, a TM, and I could just screw opponents in the Elite Four with it. Oh my god. Because all it does is just ensures that you're gonna die. Like, look at this. Bellsprout wouldn't have shit if it wasn't for Rap. See? Look, I get one attack off. Super effective. Oh, he's burned, too. Go to hell, Bell. Oh, my God. He's gonna die from being hurt from a burn. How pathetic is that? It's like, you know when you go on vacation and you can't go out to dinner one time because your back just fucking hurts? That's what Bellsprout's gonna die from. He didn't apply sunscreen. Yes. I will. Putting Squirtle in there is causing some of this, too. I should admit that some of this is my fault. And we're really going to be risking Charmeleon here, but... We have to do f what is right for the good of the team. I don't know what moves Oddish has that could defeat Charmeleon. But we're definitely super potion right now. Okay. Not very effective. Let's burn him to death. Charmeleon's fully paralyzed and I don't think I have a paralyzed heal. Very nice. Good for Squirtle. Yes, I will. And you know who I'm throwing in there. The old blue turtle that we have. Squirtle honestly might level up after this fight. I don't know what level he evolves, but it, it, it has to be close to 15. If it's not 15, it might be like 16 or 17, but it's coming up. We're going to be getting our war turtle here soon. Oh my god. 
If you've ever played Generation 1, you know exactly the pain of sitting through rap. Of course it continues. It wouldn't be hell on earth if it didn't continue. This battle is taking far too long. The hard part is, is we're already splitting the XP in half for Squirtle. Thank God. This should be like the battle to show you how effective rap is in this generation. It's ridiculous. We had to use two super potions on a Charmeleon against a lower level Bell Sprout. Maybe three. This is ridiculous. Fully paralyzed, and he's gonna. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ladies and gentlemen, guess who's pissed off? If not you, it has to be me. No, I came in really positive to shoot this video today. I was really happy about doing it. Not so happy now. Come on. And of course, because he used growth. Now I need it fully paralyzed. Legitimately anything will work. Here we go, five more fucking moves. Of course, I think Bellsprout should be listed as a terrorist. He's honestly, that was like a 10 minute fight. You deceived me. Apparently all you know how to do is rap, lady. What do you mean I deceived you? You deceived me. Let's check out what TM30 does, folks. Let's teleport. We already have a Pokemon with teleport. And honestly, it's not that useful. Great, I was bored. <laughs> he tell you, buddy, now you're about to die. Oh, can Squirtle take him? I really don't think so. Let's give it a, a shot. Don't die, Squirtle. Okay, let's switch to Pokemon. Who's gonna be strong against a fighting type? Probably Kadabra. Kadabra could take him out. He's gonna get in a good karate chop on us. Man, this guy's getting crits left and right. Yes. This is gonna be a big play from our buddy. And we might have to go and heal and get some items after this, but honestly, the XP he's about to get from this is gonna be phenomenal. You just can't take too much damage. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, Squirtle. What a champ. I, I think we better go get items. Squirtle's evolving. Look how cute he is there. Oh, not so cute now. What you gonna do? 
Okay, can we get back up this way? Did we come down or did we jump down? Damn it. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the last of our items, I think. Uh, maybe just one I could have her. Charmeleon's already kind of screwed. So, yeah, it'd be nice to give him an item, but if we have to wait a little bit, we have to wait a little bit. Let's battle this guy. He aims to be the ultimate trainer, but will his Pokemon prove that? We're about to find out. Sand true. Not very ultimate trainer-like. Slash may kill me. He is quite a bit higher. Yep. You know what, War Turtle tried? I was getting a little cocky. That's fine. Let's try a horn attack on him. I don't think fighting... I don't know what type he specifically is, but I don't think a fighting move is really gonna do much better. Which shows us we are underleveled at this point in the game, for sure. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it means that a lot of our matches later are going to be pretty challenging. Which is a good thing. Okay, got him. It's fine. Let's get a level for Pikachu here. I think if we just do a quick attack, that should be enough to knock him out of here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, but we got him anyways. That's the important thing. We do need to go and heal. Now, we're gonna need to get items. If we plan to take on anybody else. I, I guess this one person will be an exception, but... B drill. Good Pokemon. I don't know exactly what it's listed as. Thundershock might not have that much of an effect on B drill. Ooh, Fury Attack. This is honestly a pretty fair fight. Oh shit. That's not good. Okay. Thank God. Very nice. Pikachu leveling up. I see this is kind of the stuff you, you deal with when you're focusing on leveling a whole team versus one or two strong Pokemon. Is now we're kind of dealing with a lot of the, the drawbacks from doing that. Which is a little bit annoying, but it's not bad. You know, at, at times it it makes this Let's Play a little bit excessive because we have to go back and heal and get items and all that good stuff. But if we want a nice even team, by the time that the game is done, I'm telling you, this is the, the best scenario. Rage is like all that great of a move. What a total waste of time, bro. But with Rage not being all that great of a move, we still have the opportunity to to teach it because we're not missing out on anything. Pikachu. Let's run. I kind of want to see what's up in here. But that being said, I might get my ass handed to me. Or we might find a really cool Pokemon. Or one of my most hated Pokemon. We could find that too. Okay, let's go and heal our guys.
And then what we'll do is we'll get, you know, all our potions and things like that. And then we should be able to just stroll right on through. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Why would I not want that? Has anybody come into a Poke Center and they did not want their Pokemon healed back to perfect health? I'm curious out there. If you have, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Let me know that you came in here and you were like, no, nah, don't want him healed. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you can help me, actually. Um, let's see. Want, like, five of those? Five of those. Bunch of those. And some of those. Three of those. Okay, I think we're good to go now. We got everything we need. And more. At least I think so, but... We could have went back down to the other town and gotten super potions, but honestly... With the rate that I actually heal my Pokémon, I don't think we'll need it. You know? I tend to be a little bit more on the safer side. I wish we had some revives, but I forget if you can actually get them in this game. And who knows, they might have been at the shop there and I just did not read the word revive. You know, like I said, I'm an idiot 90% of the time. So very possible that revives were available there. Let's go up. If we see anything down here, we're gonna go down anyways, but... Yeah, let's battle this guy. Let's see what else is down here. Okay, just this guy. Let's confront him from the side. All imposing-like. A Geodude. Okay. Well, we know who's gonna handle that. Good friend, War Turtle. See, now we're at a point in the game where we actually have, like, a good Pokemon for, like, 90% of the people who are gonna attack us. And I feel like War Turtle is strong enough that it can handle a lot of the Pokemon that's gonna be thrown at it. So we don't need to worry. Plus, we're about to go through a tunnel. We don't really need to worry about stacking him all that much right now. Ha ha ha, you beat me. I'm an old man with a cane and a beard. Okay, now we can go up. Oh. Jesus, Pikachu. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, just being happy and smiley? Okay. Let's see. Let's guess what kind of Pokemon this guy has. I'm gonna say... He's probably the kind of guy with a bug type. Yeah, I was right on. Level 20 Caterpie, you don't see those in the wild. Ember is such a weak move. Man, I wish Charmeleon had like... like I don't know, fire attack? Like, <laughs> that's not a real move, but... Anything that was decent against bug-type Pokemon? grass type Pokemon that kind of stood in between Ember and Flamethrower. You know, like, it, it's such a jump. I mean, he gets, like, other good attacking moves, but they're not really fire-related, and then you get hit with confusion in it. 
does actually nothing to Charmeleon, but you know what I mean. Like, those moves could be devastating. Okay, there's somebody over here. Ah, oh, shit, I wish I had the time to prepare. Okay, let's see what kind of Pokemon they have. Hopefully it's like grass or bird or something like that that Charmeleon will be able to just defeat. Okay, Bradita. Everybody knows how much I love Raditas. Let's try Seismic Toss on him. That did a good amount of damage. I think I'm gonna stick with that approach. Okay. Very nice. Yes. War Turtle. Now we're getting up to the levels where we're more, like, on par. Oh, you son of a bitch. Dig is a good move. Okay, fair enough. I got a little scared there. Thought we might have to heal and... Thought he was gonna get an attack in real quick. Yes, Ekans. Uh, I don't know who's strong on our team against Ekans, but Nidorinos are one of our weaker Pokemon, so we'll throw him out there. Point attack. There's a place to heal before we go into the, the actual cave, so... If we lose a Pokemon here or there, it's not that big of a deal. The strongest move in the game. Very nice. Sandshrew. Uh, I want to use War Turtle. I have a feeling. Yeah, let, let's use a potion on him. Let's use a super potion, our last one on War Turtle. Just get him all the way up there, because he's going to hit us right here. Okay, he didn't. Good. Water gun. Of course we missed. Oh man, he's really hitting us with status effects. That's not good. But I do know War Turtle is going to be able to, to knock him out of the park as long as he can hit. Come on. Yeah, good. Yeah, we, we want to focus a little bit more on War Turtle, but like I said, he's going to get a lot of experience in that cave. So there's really... we don't need to worry too much. Let's give Charmeleon one. And we bought a ton of these, we might as well just give them out to everybody who needs one, you know? Like, even th that's a five point difference, but hey, why the hell not? Are there any more Pokemon this way? We just want to make sure we see everything we get to see. Let's go into these bushes and see what's hiding out up here. Mmm. A Nidorino. Not sure if we'll be able to run away. Let's look one more time. There might be like a Pharaoh or something cool up here. You know, it'd be neat to see. I think we need to do something, folks. I think we need to trap this guy in eternal hell. I hate him. You hate him, hopefully. So I think it's only right that we trap him in a computer for the rest of- oh, or we kill him. We kill him too, that's fine. Everybody ignore what I just said. I wasn't gonna say anything. Did we beat this guy already? If you don't like bug Pokemon, you bug me. <laughs> okay, this guy up here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This guy up here. That's not what I wanted to do. 
He definitely looks like someone who likes rocks. Whether it be rock hard things or rocky Pokemon, he looks like someone who would like those. Aren't you a little toughy? I don't even know what to say, guys. That goes perfectly with what I was just saying. I love, like, trainers who, like, make comments like that. Especially when you, like, consider you're probably gonna whoop their ass. Look at that. Look at how quick War Turtle is ranking up. <sighs> I guess Nidorino's our only other weak Pokemon. We might as well get him out there, right? I think before we go into the cave. You know, that's how we might end today's episode. Today's episode's gonna run a little bit long. I can tell this by looking at the, the timer right now. I think we're gonna end it. You'll see. You'll see what I'm debating in my head right now. It's gonna be important and it's gonna be pretty snazzy. Water gun. Yeah, but after this, I mean, this episode's not too exciting because we're not battling a train or anything like that, but after this series, we're going to be moving on to, I think, gold next. Which is exciting for me because that's actually my favorite game in the Pokemon series. You know, Pokemon Gold, I think, had the most impact on me by far. It's... I was just, like, underneath this one. You know, I grew up playing it, but, like, I, I only played it because... My older siblings played it. But Gold was really, like, the start of my... My Pokemon career. So it's gonna be a very exciting playthrough. I know a little bit more about the game. I usually have a lot more fun with it. Don't make me drop my money, you asshole. But then, like I said, we're not going to go too far into the series. Um, there tends to be a point where I lose interest. Just because it, it, it was just out of my... What I played through personally, so... Twenty-five. Very nice. I picked up my money because I'm the winner. Okay. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon here. I know there's a a healing center right down here, but I think there's one more trainer. So I at least want everybody to be in the green. Um, eventually, towards the end of the series, we'll be coming back here. I know I stated I wasn't going to use legendary Pokemon, but we have to go and at least capture them. We might not be capturing all of them, but that one is one of the cooler ones to me, so we will definitely be coming back here. We'll battle this lady. Down, 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 down. Oh, Jigglypuff, oh shit. This honestly ought to be an interesting battle. Let's try and burn Jigglypuff, I guess. Just gonna pick you up and put you down like a Arnold Schwarzenegger lifter. It's 
you just need a Reno. Nothing terrible. Now we can definitely deal with it. <sighs> That's what I was worried about. When they put you to sleep, it's one of the most annoying things in the game. Okay, we'll just a quick attack and finish it off. And I think, from here, all we have left is the entrance to the cave. So, I'll tell you what, because nothing big happened in this episode, we're gonna go here, we're gonna heal. And we're gonna go out here. We're gonna take a moonstone. We're gonna give it to Nidorino. The moment you've all been waiting for, folks. It's a bit premature, but we now have a Nidoking King on our team. Let's take a look at that guy. Oh, look at him. Bam! Alrighty, folks. Well, that's gonna be this week's episode. Or, I guess, uh, one of this week's episodes. Um, if you're interested, I'm probably gonna grind here for, like, the next 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe something like that, so you could stay tuned for that. There probably won't be a lot of commentary with it, just my average talking. But, um, my average rambles and whatnot. But if you're not interested in watching any grinding, you know, feel free to skip and just wait for the next episode. But if you are interested in some of the grinding, you know, stay tuned because we're going to be progressing that way. But I at least want to get some of my Pokemon ranked up before we go into this tunnel. So, you know, if you're heading out now, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, you know, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. But at the same point in time, um, if you want to head out now at this point in the video, if you haven't headed out already, I'm not going to hold it against you. You know, grinding is kind of annoying, so I fully get it. So first we're going to start with Nidoking. King. We're going to go into like the base of the tunnel, but I don't want to attack anybody. So I want to save that for the next episode. Who did we teach Flash to be taught to Pikachu? So we're just gonna stay like up here. We're gonna try to avoid as many trainers as humanly possible. Just so that way it's good to view for the next episodes. People can catch on. And it's not like we skipped out on anything. We're just gonna be grinding away. That's really gonna be it. Like I said, if disinterested, trust me, you will not hurt anybody's feelings. But for some people, this is fun to watch, so. Let's get him with double kick. I think that's the only fighting move we have on Nido King. I don't know what our goal is gonna be, like what level we're gonna set as like a that's okay to get through the tunnel, but definitely a little bit higher than what we are now. Because we're not really struggling, but 
we want to be able to wipe out most of our competition without any question. Now, do we have any TM moves that are fighting type? No. No. I would, but Pikachu already learns it. I think this is teleport, yeah. Okay, so we'll just continue to grind in here. We're gonna grind in here for Nido King, and we're gonna grind in here for War Turtle. And then we're gonna go outside and grind for some of our other Pokemon. I think our Charmeleon is 25 right now. I think I feel pretty comfortable at 25 for a lot of our Pokemon. You know, if we're close, if we're like 24, I might cut it, but... It also, it depends on like, uh, you know, how much longer I'm willing to stay awake here. It is getting kind of late for myself, but... This is probably the best place to grind for them. Mmm. A Zubat. Get our Pikachu in there. That's fine. We're so close to, like, everything. We honestly might even teach Pikachu Thunderbolt. Just so that way it has a stronger move earlier on, but... The big thing is that we don't go onto that line. Because we want to save that for, you know, the future episodes. Don't want to skip any part of the playthrough for those who skip down on the grinding. I would feel bad. Rock throw. Ooh. Not very effective against Nido King. Now we're just walking. We're just trying to find Pokemon. Okay. A little bit of damage. We're gonna be able to knock him back to Thunder Shock a little bit. Zubat again. It's nice getting some ranks up for both Nido King and Pikachu at the same time. You know, War Turtle won't be that hard either, but. try and capture some of these Pokemon too while we're out here, you know? I know it is a grinding session, but it'd be cool to have some of these guys in our, our Pokedex and things like that, so yeah, maybe we'll give it a try. Try and catch good old Geodude. Alright, we got Geodude now. I forget how many you could have in the PC in this game, but... I mean, it has to be at least enough to catch every Pokémon, right? Mmm. I'm a chop. 
I get confused with these guys. I don't even know what, like, what to use against them. Apparently that. Let's catch this guy. He's so close to death, it should be so easy. And like I said, we really want to get that PC looking sharp. I think the only other thing we can really catch here is a Zubat. So anything else, we're just gonna fight till it dies. We already have a Geodude. A zoo bat. So let's. <sighs> He's the last guy we need to add here. I'm trying to hit him with a horn attack. Hopefully that doesn't kill him. It fucking killed him. Okay. Like I said, I'm, I'm not that disappointed. Uh, the zoo bat's not a great Pokemon. And we won't ever really be using it, but it's nice to like rank up our PC. We've already been turned down a move because. Uh, we've already turned down the item finder because we didn't have enough moves, so. Or enough Pokemon in the PC. It, it's just nice to have some extra Pokemon in there. I'm not gonna go for a full, complete capture of all of them, but. Okay, Middle King's at 23. Thrash. Yes. Tackle. The strongest move, we got rid of it for Thrash. What a shame. Let's check out what kind of move Thrash is. I don't know off the top of my head. It doesn't tell us. That's spectacular. Let's heal up here. I'm sure people who watch the normal playthrough won't realize if we're missing a few items here or there. I just want to make sure Nato King isn't able to be killed in a one shot. Let's try out Thrash, why the hell not? That's perfect. That's what we need to capture him. Never mind. We gotta capture one of those guys. And if we don't get him, we don't get him, but... It'd be nice to get him. Because then we could say we have, you know... What you would get in a cave, generally. It'd be really nice to get an Onyx. How is Thrash against a rock type? Not very effective. That kind of sucks. Oh, you use it for a couple turns. Okay. But you're kind of locked into it, I guess? I'm not, I don't know, like... Like I said... Uh, oh, I'm confused now. That's probably the downside of using Thrash. Okay. He's level 23. Let's switch out. Let's go to Pokemon. War Turtle. Man, he's gonna be a lot harder to get up there. Maybe we should have started with him. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. On the upside, we might be able to get a Zubat here. Yeah, we might be able to get him. Let's go for a bubble. I think it's a little bit weaker. Let's get him. Yeah, we got him. 
We got everything we could get in a cave right in the beginning. Okay, guys, now give me like 15 seconds here. I have to go grab another beer. I'm running low. I'll be right back. As promised, I am right back, ladies and gentlemen. Only a couple seconds there. Let's get back to it with our war turtle. Should really get a mini fridge out here. Okay, we've already seen what everybody here has to offer. We're just gonna grind through it. Oh, my screen just went black for a second. Hopefully that doesn't affect the recording, but if it does, I'm sorry, guys. Bow, bow. It's honestly nice to get like a, a little, a little bit of a, you know, just kind of a grindy session in. It's in the past. I, I had a previous YouTube channel before I had this one. And on that channel, these were kind of their own separate videos. It's nice to just kind of throw them on here. You know, if this one's an hour in length or whatever, I could at least let users know in the description. Like, hey, you know, there's a little bit of grinding in this episode. If you don't like it, watch till the given time. If you like grindy stuff, it happens at this time. So, it, it'll be nice. Got him a chop. Let's make our way out to the grass. We'll heal, and then we'll use some some of the time out here in the grass to train some of our other Pokemon. Look at our Pokemon. Who needs training? Um, Charmeleon doesn't. He's 25. We'll say that's the max. So everybody but Charmeleon. Start with Pikachu. And like before, if we see any Pokemon here that are like, wow, we should add those to what we have. We'll catch him, but... I forget if we caught a Rattata already. No, we didn't. Um, he accidentally died. That's right. Yeah, he tried to use Hyper Fang, though. I already don't like this one. Okay. Yeah, son of a bitch. You know what? I hate him, but let's try and catch him. For Professor Oak, we have to do the right thing. Pikachu, this is going to be a reoccurring thing. He's not 
going to do well against anything in the grass. Luckily, all of our other Pokemon can likely be trained in the cave. And Alakazam, or, uh, Kadabra can be trained anywhere. Ooh. This is one we want, because we're never going to evolve that Rattata. Hopefully we paralyze him. Come on. No, 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 no. Sorry, Pikachu. I'm sore. Cut shouldn't kill him. At least I hope not. Okay. Let's use Pokeball on. We'll never train our Rattata. So it'll be nice to have one evolved. Less work for us to do for Oak. Am I right? Okay, let's go down here. Get Pikachu back in tip-top shape. We know how picky he can be. I mean, he won't be now that we have the starters. We don't really need to worry about him, but... Coming across ones that would be good to catch. Like ones that we definitely don't have in there already. I would never think a Magnemite would be up here. I don't know if it's just my lack of playing these games, but. Oh, come on. I wanna get him down. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's use our Pokeball on him. Oh, you son of a bitch. The goal here is that we just have to give Pikachu some potions, not heal him all the way. I don't want to waste your guys' time, even though it is grinding, but... <laughs> you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Even though it's just grinding. Like, still, it, it's annoying to watch. No work be accomplished. Okay, good. The Pokemon we already had. It's still technically current here. Thundershock. Horn attack. I'm adjusting my back right now. And how I play. It's just a quick attack, just knock him out of here. And you know, for as much as a buff as Pikachu gets in these games, he is really not all that great. Sorry, Pikachu. Yes. I know you're my buddy, but you're not strong. Like, not at all. It's, it's actually kind of, like, terrible how bad Pikachu is. But slam. Hopefully that'll do a little bit more. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, 
The, the only person we don't need to train is Charmeleon, so... Now, honestly, this might get pretty lengthy. I think I'm gonna cut it off at, like, the hour 30 mark, and we'll go from there, wherever they're at, but... I was hoping to get everybody up to, like, close to 25. We could be going down and healing, which would probably be better, being as we're going into a cave, but... You know... Why do that? Give him the old slam, Pikachu. Eventually we're gonna get a Thunderstone, and we're gonna have to think. Do we want a Raichu? It's gonna be a tough decision. It's a good Pokemon. Okay. Let's train Kadabra. He's gonna be much easier to, to just wipe out opponents, so... Let's get him out of the way quickly here. Yeah, we could probably knock him out in like less than three minutes. It'll be phenomenal how many Pokemon he's just able to rip through. Cadaver and Alakazam are some of my favorite Pokemon solely because, like I said, I was forced to play this because, you know, my older siblings played it. And I learned very quickly that if you have a Cadaver on your team, or if you're lucky enough to trade with somebody, you can get an Alakazam, that you can rip through this game in record speed. Look at that. Just every time. Flawless. It's gonna help us so much in the Elite Four and things like that, too. Just every time. And once you get Psybeam, even more of a tank. I did not expect him to survive that. Goes to show you, even Cadaver can let you down sometimes. Let's give him a potion. I don't think he'll need much. Because he's not really one that I think is going to take more than one hit per battle. You know? I think he can hold his own pretty damn well. Just to be safe, you might as well do it. Yeah, you'd hate for this scenario. Where he might go up against two hits, but he'll get a good hit in in between, and... If it was a critical hit and Cadaver was in the status he was before, he might have died. I think Cadaver only has, like, one more battle he really has to go against, and then he'll be good. I guess we'll see, though. Okay, okay. Very nice. That's what we want to see. 25. That's our max on our team right now. 
So we'll go through the Pokemon. Um, Cadaver and Charmeleon both at 25. War Turtle at 20, but that's back in the cave. Ivysaur at 22, that's back in the cave. So everybody else is back in the cave except for Pikachu. Let's go down and heal real quick. But we need to get Pikachu first. Because he's going to be the biggest pain in the ass here. Pikachu. Let's go, folks. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, cool. Another brand female. Not even concerned about adding to the Pokedex, honestly. Just want to get through this training. This may be one of our longer episodes on the series. I know that the boat one was really bad, but this one might be even worse. There will be a reward for those who listen, though. I'm gonna throw that out there now. If you made it this far, you know that there's gonna be a reward and might as well stick with it. I'm gonna add something cool there. So that way it wasn't a waste of anybody's time. And if you skip to the end, I guess you'll find out too, but... I mean, that's definitely not the intended way to find it, but... Just like in Pokemon, there's a way around everything. And our way today is to grind through shit. Okay, we got Nidoran. Pikachu is a lot happier when he does some fighting. That's all I'm gonna say. When he was just a dormant member on the team, and we were feeding him items, he was ecstatic. God damn, man, how much farther does he have to go? A thousand, okay. So like five more battles. I'm content with him being level 24. He's not gonna be much help in the tunnel. If we get everybody up around there. I just want it so they can handle their own again. Like, it's felt like lately we've been underpowered for every battle. So just to be, like, on par again would be a nice... A nice feeling. Not bad. Now, if we taught him Thunderbolt, this would move a lot quicker. I'm, not, I'm really tempted right now. 
That's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna teach him Thunderbolt. Shock. I feel like that's a big mistake, but it's getting later in the episode and I'm running tired. And that nice beer buzz is starting to set in, so. See how much better Pikachu does. Quick attack, not really fair. We can't really do anything about that. Oh my god, so much better. Pikachu has instantly turned into a great Pokemon. we kept slam because it misses no because it, it he can hold his own against other electric types then you know obviously he he could do a little bit better he's not just like a one trick kind of pokemon and if we're looking at keeping pikachu long term that's pretty important whether or not we turn him into a raichu I wonder what level he learned that at. I know I searched this up before, but I'm gonna search it up now. Oh, we miss again. Hold on, what level does Pikachu learn Thunderbolt? Level 26! Okay. So it's kind of a waste. But you know what? It helps for this one episode. <laughs> no, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Like I said. Now, Pikachu is our starter Pokemon. A great Pokemon, but not as great as the rest of our team, honestly. In the beginning, the goal was to keep him really happy, but now it's just to, to keep him at bay. Make sure that he's being the best little guy that he can be. And that extra boost, even though we lost learning Thunderbolt to another Pokemon, the only other person we could teach to on the team is Nidoking, and he's going to be gone eventually too. So, not really a huge deal. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the rest of our Pokemon. Let's switch out for Ivysaur. Ivysaur is the next lowest. So we have to get Ivysaur, War Turtle, and Middle King up a little bit this episode. Let's go back into the cave, because all of them will do strong there. Remember to use Flash. Like I said, uh, yeah, I've got like six minutes left. I'm gonna try not to go over an hour thirty. If there's an additional grinding episode that has to come out, I'll put it out at a later date, but I do not want to. I do not want to go over an hour and 30 minutes. We did on the one episode and it's, it's too much.
In fact, I think we'll call it after this one. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here. We got one more battle. That's good. Very nice. Okay. We're gonna go heal. And then I got some news for all you people out there listening. Okay, that is officially the end of this episode. That will be it. If you hung on this long, I have a special announcement for you. Um, in Gold, the next playthrough that we'll be doing Pokemon Gold, if you comment down below the word Sea Turtle, I will name my Pokemon the name of either your username, where I put Sea Turtle, and then put like a underscore and then whatever you want it to be called. And that will be the name of my starter Pokemon that I will carry until the end of the game. I would prefer if you did it anyways with just the word Sea Turtle and then the underscore and then the name. That would be largely beneficial because some names may be too long. Things like that, but... If you made it this far, you at least deserve that little bit of gratitude. Where I will name my Pokemon, whatever the hell you want it to be in the next playthrough, and it'll be my starter Pokemon, so I'll be carrying it until the end. So, you know, feel free to drop that down in the comments. That, that's really a big thing. If you just drop it down in the comments, the word Sea Turtle, all one word, um, S-E-A, and then put a capital T, T-U-R-T-L-E, even if it's not capital, I'll acknowledge that, you know, you made it to the end of the video, because... Obviously, other people won't be commenting Sea Turtle randomly, and I'm just thinking that because of Squirtle, but... You know, drop that down there, and then we'll name our starter Pokemon after either your YouTube name or whatever you put under that underscore. That'll be our starter Pokemon name. After this episode, there'll probably be one more grinding episode that comes out in between the Sunday-Wednesday mix. You know, probably on a Friday, so that way we can get them all up to 25, but I don't want to waste anybody's time. You know, if you want to watch grindy episodes, that's cool, but I'm honestly running a little bit low on fuel here. <laughs> and uh, I acknowledge that nobody wants to watch a, a two-hour Pokemon grindy episode. Although, if that is something you want to see, let me know, and we can definitely have that happen. But, alrighty guys, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know, it was uh, a, a lot of, like, just grinding and a lot of getting to where we wanted to be. But we're progressing in the story and that's what's important so hope you enjoyed this one we hope to see you on the next one um there will be one in between that's grindy but our usual sunday wednesday episodes will definitely stick to just progressing with the plot minus this little bit of grindiness that was added to this one and like i said if you want your name to be present in one of our videos all you have to do is in the comment section down below drop the word sea turtle underscore and then whatever you want the name of our starter to be, as long as it fits in that character space that Pokemon allows. But until next time, guys, have a great day, and I hope there's no chaos in your life. Take it easy, guys. Bye.